Hey everyone, vlogs are back. We are at Ikea today and we're just gonna pick up a few things for Boho Bus and then we're going to run over to Holler and Dash to try some new lunch items and I'm gonna take you along with us. Do you wanna say hi? Hello. <laughs> Biscuit House. We're gonna go in and try out their new lunch meals and see what else they have going on. Hmm? What? That's Yeah. Or wait, Cracker Barrel? <laughs> no, it's Cracker Barrel. I think biscuits. Breslin with chicken salad. It's one of their new lunch salads with Brussels sprouts. We got a little surprise beignets. For the record, I did not order these, but I'm definitely going to enjoy them. And then what'd you get? Bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Bacon, egg, and cheese classic. And then I have to also say the agua fresca is delicious. One of the best drinks I've ever had. <laughs> All right, we're gonna eat. Going in for the beignet. <laughs> and delicious. Do you know what this sauce is? Syrup, maybe honey. Yum. Gotta eat this first, though. Gonna try some of the biscuit. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. And I woke up at like 6.45 and intended to go to the gym a lot earlier, but I laid in bed on Instagram, of course, for like an hour. Um, maybe it was more like two or three hours. I don't know. I think it's like 9 a.m. right now. Yep, it's 9. So I'm about to go to the gym now. I'm going to go to Planet Fitness. I also want to do the red light machine again at Planet Fitness and see I, I've only done it once so this will be my second time doing it I always forget my little goggles and so I can't ever do it um, but I'm gonna try to do that again today and of course I'm going to sit on the massage bed for 10 whole minutes like I like to do every time I go um, I joined Planet Fitness because it's pretty cheap um, and it's in between my house and the CrossFit gym that I go to. And there's also one by work. So I go sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the evening on the way home from work. Or, yeah, on the way home from work. So um, the location and the price pretty much is what sold me on Planet Fitness. But I would be lying if I didn't say that the massage table was a high third place reason why I chose Planet Fitness over like LA Fitness or um life like whatever's right here by my house yeah so that's the plan um if I get done semi early I'm probably going to go to Kroger and get some laundry detergent and get some saline solution because I got my second piercing or double piercing I guess pretty excited about these um and yeah and then I have to get ready for the day I have a wedding that we're working for boho bus tonight um so I might try to take you guys along with me to that and we'll see if I can get any 
footage of that. Um, and then, as you can see, I got a little fiddle fig. Obviously, it's fake. Got it from Ikea yesterday. And I have um, <clears throat> a clothing rack that I also bought that I would like to put together. But we'll see how much time I have. I have to be over at my parents' house by like 4 o'clock to get over to the wedding by 4.45. So I'll probably have to leave my house around 3.30. So I probably won't have any time today to do anything. But let's get on with it. Okay, guys. I am back from the gym. I did not get to go in the massage bed. I'm so upset. Um, <laughs> I haven't been in since Tuesday. But I did get to go in the red light machine. Um, and then when I came out of that to get my little pass to go to the massage table... None of the employees were there anymore. So, got a Tootsie Roll when I left. Um, I just went to Starbucks and I had wanted to film myself ordering, but I forgot to. So, I ordered this, um, let's see, cold brew with foam. I found this on Macro Barista. And so what I ordered was a grande cold brew with one pump of hazelnut and three pumps of sugar-free vanilla, light cream, and then sugar-free vanilla in the cold foam. And I haven't tried it yet, but it has this cool lid, which I think is cool, even though I'd probably rather have a straw. But I think because of the cold brew, that's why they give you this lid so you can taste it. So let's taste it. Taste test. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mm -mm. Wow. Okay. So that might be my new drink from now on. Um, let me see if I can pull up his post about this drink. So this is the French Vanilla Cold Foam, <laughs> French vanilla cold foam cold Brew. And it has one gram of protein, 10 grams of carbs, three grams of fat, and six grams of sugar, 200 milligrams of caffeine, and it's only 75 calories. He also has a breakdown of the calories, so if you want to take out some carbs, take out the hazelnut syrup, um, use different kinds of cream and things like that. So it was $4.25 apparently, according to him. I also got my staple red pepper egg white bites, two orders of those, um, because I can't go to Starbucks without them, and I found that I don't know what to eat when I'm in a hurry and just want to grab something on the way, so I either go to Chick-fil-A and get grilled nuggets, or I go to Starbucks and get red pepper egg white bites, and other than that, I have no idea what to order when I go out to eat. I haven't, um really gone out to eat and dieted or like order diet food at all um since I started this little plan like two weeks ago the only place I have gone is um our favorite moxie burger and I get a turkey burger on a lettuce wrap with cheese and ketchup and like nothing else <laughs> but um and onions so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna drink my drink and eat my egg white bites and then get ready for the wedding tonight. Hey everyone, I just got to my parents' house. Um, we have the wedding tonight that I talked about earlier. So we are taking the bus to someone's wedding and it's going to be a photo booth there for them and pretty much all night long. Um, yeah, so it's just me and my dad going today. Usually my sister goes, but she has to work tonight. So I'm going, and it'll be my first wedding that I'm working. And hopefully it's fun. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It's been supposed to rain all week long. And it hasn't really at all. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't because I think it's mostly outside. Um, so I'm going to take you along there with me, I guess. And I'll let you see what we do. <laughs> Stay one more night Don't you know that my love is true? Let's make things right I understand what you're going through Stay one more night And I know that it's not too late Let's make things right You just have to believe in faith I just 
just stopped by Starbucks. I literally just woke up like two hours ago and I've been reading all day and I need to go to Target. So hey everyone, it is Sunday morning, well afternoon. It's afternoon. It's 12.15 and I only woke up at 10 o'clock this morning. I slept in really late. I mean I went to bed at midnight so I mean I still don't sleep like 10 hours every night but I had to come to Target this morning to get some laundry detergent and get some, um, what else did we need? Toilet paper. And also just kind of wanted to look around. I went to Starbucks this morning and I meant to get the same order that I got yesterday, the cold brew cold foam, but they didn't give, give me what I ordered. Instead I got the Grande Iced Cascara Cold Foam Cold Brew with three pumps of vanilla and one pump of hazelnut, sugar-free vanilla. And it's actually really, really good. So I'm gonna have to look up the macros on this and just see um, if it's good for me. I think it'll probably be less in fat, which is good because my fat macros have actually decreased, but this is what it looks like. It doesn't have cream, so that's why I'm, I'm saving on the fat. Um, but I actually really like it, so I hope it's good for me. And then, of course, I got my egg white bites, and it'll be maybe one of the last times I get my egg white bites, because I'm going to try to make them for myself today. And I hope it turns out, because these are getting expensive. These are like $5, even though they're delicious. So, I'm going to pop in Target, see what we can find, and check in with you guys later. Hopefully, I'm going to be filming some videos today, and hopefully re-pinking my hair. <laughs> I love all of this stuff because when I was younger I had a lemonade stand for like six years straight in my neighborhood and it was the most fun thing and it's what I was known for and so I'm obsessed with all this lemonade stuff. It's so cute. Hi everyone, I am, <coughs> let's try that again. Hey everyone, I am getting ready to go to Waxing the City Alpharetta for a little wax today. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Um, got my computer here, cause I'm gonna go work a little bit afterwards before I go work out. And yeah, here comes Rumi. <laughs> hey pretty girl. All right, let's go to Waxing the City. So I just remembered that whenever I go to get a wax, I like to take a pain reliever before I go. And usually I just take whatever we have on hand. Um, well, I don't know where our pain reliever is. A leave is good to take because um, I don't know why. <laughs> it just is. I have no idea. Oh, here. Nope. That's needle spray. Okay, well, give me a second while I find something to take. Okay, so <laughs> I found something to take. I'm gonna take this. It's extra strength. I think I took this last time before. Um, and I wasn't really in that much pain, so I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna run out the door, because now I'm running late, because I had to search high and low the house for something to take. So, see you guys there. I just have another tip that I wanted to share, um, and it is about the clothes that you're going to wear. So when you go to get waxed, if you're getting a Brazilian or a bikini, you should wear light clothes, like loose fitting clothes, cotton, not like leggings or spandex or anything like that. So today I'm just wearing my t-shirt dress from Target, and yeah, I'm wearing a dress, so <laughs> it's loose and it won't restrict any airflow or keep any bacteria or anything like on the freshly waxed skin. Stay one more night. Don't you know that my love is true? Let's make things right. I understand what you're going through. Stay one more night. And I know that it's not too late. Let's I forgot to end the vlog, so I'm doing it now while I'm editing it. But if you want to hear my other tips for waxing, go on over to my blog. I'll have my blog post linked down below. And it has all the best tips for before, after, and during your wax, especially the ones that I learned when I was there. So I will see you guys later. Like and subscribe, and thanks for coming by.